Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another Minecraft video and in this one we're going to be asking a very simple question, what is the fastest way to get wood in Minecraft? Now in front of me I've got a bunch of different methods of farming trees, I've also got a handful of different methods in various different worlds that we're going to be checking out later on and the challenge is really quite simple. We need to get five stacks of logs as fast as we possibly can. So let's crack on and let the science commence. Method number one was a fairly obvious one. Headed off to the local forest biome and started waving my axe about and I managed to get my five stacks of logs. But there are a few issues with this design. Number one is the fact that you destroy the entire forest, which means that every time you want to get more wood, you have to travel further and further away, which is a little bit of a pain in the bum. But secondly, you have to travel between each tree as you go. Now that definitely slows you down and it means that I managed to get 5 stacks of logs within 4 minutes and 27 seconds. It's not too bad, but it could definitely be improved upon. The next technique that I tried was growing large spruce wood trees. Now this is something that I used to do when I wanted large quantities of wood because I used to think that it was a really fast method of getting the logs. And I have to say, I was correct. I mean this thing is seriously fast getting 5 stacks of logs within 3 minutes and 18 seconds absolutely lightning quick. Now this next design came as a bit of a surprise for me. I was not expecting it to place where it did. I thought it was going to be middle of the way, not too fast, not too slow, but no, I was completely wrong. This thing is ridiculously slow. The idea was quite simple. You place down a bunch of dirt blocks, then you got your dispensers to dispense out blown meal. You walk along placing down the saplings, all of your trees grow, and then you take out the trees and you get yourself tons of wood. Now I thought in my head, that's going to be relatively quick, but no, it took 7 minutes and 7 seconds to get 5 stacks of logs, which is 3 minutes slower than everything else on this list, making it by far the slowest design that you can possibly build. Now the only positive to take from this is that it works with all different wood types, whereas a lot of the designs featured in this video don't work with all different wood types, so that's something positive to take away from it, but seriously, if you want to get wood quickly, this is not the way to do it. This next one follows in a similar sort of style as the previous, but it works a lot more efficiently. Now this one only works with oak wood trees because those are the only ones that can grow directly next to one another, but all you have to do is place down a bunch of saplings, then take out all of the wood. It does make a bit of a mess, a lot of the trees grow really quite large and you end up with tons of leaves and wood blocks all over the shop, but it is incredibly quick. 3 minutes and 10 seconds is all it took to get 5 stacks of logs, making it by far the fastest design feature in this video so far. Now onto a slightly embarrassing one, I have to say this is... This is a little bit embarrassing for me. Recently, I released a tree farm onto the internet, which I thought was an incredibly efficient design. And it is a relatively efficient design, but unfortunately, it can't really compete with some of the slightly simpler methods featured so far in this video. It took 4 minutes and 25 seconds to get 5 stacks of wood, which is okay. It's relatively quick, but it's not exactly blisteringly fast, is it? And it's a little bit embarrassing that it's been beaten by the spruce method and also the bone mill method and is only two seconds faster than popping into a forest and swinging your axe about. Yeah, that's not brilliant, is it? And finally, onto the last designer of today's video, and that is the wither-powered fully automatic tree farm. Yes, I thought I'd save the most ridiculous design till last because as you can hear, this is a very complicated design and of course it uses a wither. Now unfortunately this wasn't designed by me, this was done by a chap called Purple Dragon Nuke and I'll put a link to his channel down in the description because it's an awesome channel and all of you should check it out. But this was definitely the fastest design, however it wasn't the fastest by much. I was expecting it to absolutely fly away and beat everything by like 30 seconds or so, but nope, it was 2 seconds quicker than the much simpler bone mill method where you place down all the saplings in a line and then they all grow up. So maybe that's something to consider when you're building them. So I guess the only scientific conclusion that we can draw from this one is a really quite simple one. If you minimise the amount of time that you're spending not farming trees, you're going to get a lot more wood. So for example, the reason that this design is slow, this design over here is slow and going to a forest is slow, is because you're spending a lot of time not actively breaking blocks, you're either walking between trees or you're pushing the blocks into a different area, you're not actively breaking them. The reason that this design is fast, this design is fast, and the wither powered one is fast, is because the entire time you're breaking blocks, you're actually making progress and getting the wood into your inventory. So I, I hope that's interesting. I hope that's revealed something to you. It certainly came with a few surprises with me. For example, that one over there, I'm never going to be using that one again. And this tree farm isn't quite as good as I thought it was, but I do still love the design. I think it's pretty sweet. But unfortunately, that's all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.